G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I have got something new to play with today and I'm super, super excited. Have a look at this. This is just amazing. I love, love, love molds with texture. Look at that. This is a tree ring or maybe a tree stump. It's a cross section of a tree branch <laughs> made into a silicon mold. It's textured. It is a 12 and a half centimeters across, uh, 4.7 inches and the depth is a quarter of an inch. A quarter of an inch? No, 0.4 of an inch. Eight millimeters deep. How cool is that? <gasps> so anyway, I'm gonna have a play with them today. Let's put you back on regular focus. So uh, these will be available in my eBay store. I'm gonna be doing a set of four. I just think it's easier in a set of four, isn't it? Because you're not gonna to go to all the trouble of mixing up resin just to do one. So yeah, I'm gonna be selling them for a set of four. So I'm gonna do shades of brown today, of course. And then I'm going to do puddle pours. And then um, once that's done, once I've demolded them, um, I've got an idea of what to do with the other side. But anyway, I'll talk to that later. Talk to you about that later. I've just had my resin sitting in some warm water because it's winter here in Queensland, Australia, and it gets a bit thick. So I've just had it sitting in the warm water. I'm going to divide it into these four cups. I'll leave a little bit in there just as a spare or in case I want some clear. But dividing it into four. Oh, I'm so excited. It's like a little kid at Christmas morning. <laughs> look at it got, look at it got to play with. <laughs> very exciting. All right, hadn't haven't left very much at all. You're a bit full. Haven't left very much. Um, little tiny bit. Anyway, that, that can just stay in there. Right, colours. I decided I'm going to go with um, a tint. This is Burnt Toffee. It's a brown tint. Not an alcohol ink, it's a tint. So, one, two, three, four, five. Get in there. Five. <laughs> it was a bubble. All right, let's see what that looks like. Uh, I want it to be relatively dark, I think. So I've got sort of two dark colours and two lighter colours. And we'll see how that goes. So this is a, looks like it's a transparent tint. You can see the stick there through. I mean, it's um, stained my stick, but you can see the rest of it's quite light. Let's put some more in. So that was five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go with another five. I want it to be relatively dark, as I said, but I still want it to be transparent. Because I'm going to go with the, um, you know, transparents and opaques, trying to get some nice reactions happening with the different densities. Okay, so that's still transparent, but it's darker. So I think I'm happy with that one. Right, so that's that one. Now the next one is going to be also by Lorez. It's a pigment paste and it's called White Sand. I haven't used it yet, as you can see. So it's a nice sort of beigey, tan sort of a colour. Let's just try that amount, see how that goes. And um, yeah, I'm just going to do puddle pours. I think I'll start with my, I'll do a brown <clears throat> along the edge, just so that the edges are filled up, uh, and then I'll do puddle pours. Look at that. It's a yummy colour, isn't it? This is a perfect colour for those people that are doing beach pours. I think it just looks like sand along the beach. <laughs> really pretty. That's what I bought it for. I haven't actually had a chance to use it in a beach pour yet, but I'm working my way up to it. I've got so many ideas of things that I want to do. 
So it's just a matter of finding time to do everything. Right, now the next one is uh, a mica powder by Lores. It's called Coco. And let's try that amount. Might have to put some more in. So it's just a different shade of brown. You know, I didn't want them all to be exactly the same color. Oh, my resin today is the Platinum 360 Plus. I'm going to add a little bit more. I'll make this one quite opaque. Three sixty plus for the resin sets up nice and quick. So um, yeah, I'll be able to demold later on today because it's only midday at the moment. So hopefully I can come back and play later on and demold. I'm actually, I'm still taping. Yep, <laughs> I always get worried. All right, so there's a nice brown cocoa color as opposed to that other one which is quite dark but I think they'll look really pretty together and then the last one is this one it's called caramel drizzle I didn't want a bronze I didn't want a copper and I found that and I thought oh, that looks quite nice that's by this little piggy Put that in and uh, that'll just be our little shimmer aspect because the I don't think none of these seem to be shimmery at all this one's the only shimmery one I thought maybe the cocoa would be shimmery but it's quite a it's quite a matte color it's funny how some of them are shimmery and then some aren't but this one's going to be our shimmery one It's almost a copper, isn't it? Looks copperish in there. Caramel. Right, so that's that. There we go. There's my colours. Put them there for you. If anyone's interested, stay. <laughs> Alrighty. Here we go. Now, I want to use... I did want to use the darkest one first, but I don't want the two opaques next to each other so I'm going to put this one around the edge I should have really put it into a paper cup so I could pinch it but I didn't I didn't all right here we go let's pour a little bit in around the edge I made up about whoops <laughs> just under 400 grams uh, of mixed resin. I did 275 grams of A and 120 grams of B. I'll go around that one. <laughs> it's got lots of little nooks and crannies and oh, it's just a lovely, lovely mould. So hopefully you guys will jump on and get a set while they're still available. I'm sure they're going to go pretty quickly. Keen to see what kind of effects I'm going to get from the different densities. So I'm not going to use all of this brown at the moment. I'll use some of it later on. Okay, so the next one I want to do is this one, this darker one, I think. Now, puddles, puddle time. Puddle, puddle. And hopefully I've made up enough resin. So it's kind of 100 grams per mold which is it's just over three ounces 
right, save a little bit of that. Now the next one is going to be this creamy colour. That's also an opaque paste. It's not going to like stay in its round rings because of the shape, but that's okay. All right, now let's do this coppery one. So it's just going to do its own thing and be really organic and natural looking, which will be perfect for this particular mold, I think. A little bit more of this one okay so that's all of them now so uh, let's go back to this first one this darkest one well not darkest this one that we used around the edge I'll use it all up this one seems to be filling up more than the others I mustn't have had the same amount in. So we'll just use this up now. So we'll probably get um, two layers of each colour by the looks of it. Right, so that one's done. Um, and let's do some Hmm, what did I do next? I did this one next, didn't I? The transparent one. I think that's what I did next. Can't remember. <laughs> oh gosh. Wasn't that long ago and I can't remember already. Let's try and even these out. I've all got hopefully the same amount in them. Okay, so that's you done. And now this creamy coloured one. Better not use too much. I don't want to overfill them. We'll see how much I've got left. Why haven't you spread out there, hey? You need a bit of a hand. Let's give you a bit of a hand to spread out there, hey? Find a little bit more in my cup there. There you go. There you go. Feel better now that you're all fixed up. Let me just get another piece of paper towel. Okay. Um, just give my hands a bit of a squirt with the alcohol. I don't think I want to use any more of this. I just don't want it taking over. Right, we've got some of this metallic -y one left. And then I've got a little bit of clear as well, to just a tiny bit, that's all I've got left. A little tiny bit of clear. Should have probably left a little bit more of the clear, but I didn't. Let's finish this off. Almost up to the top now. Whoops, you've got a lot. Oh, that's pretty good in my um, estimation of how much resin I needed. Okay, now a little bit of clear just to finish it off. Don't drip. I'll tell you about my idea for the other side once I've unmolded them. I think it should work. Okay. So be careful you don't drip 
into the side because it can change your little pattern that you're making. Woohoo, I'm done, you guys. Look at that. Oh, I'm one, oh gee, I'm going to be so excited with this one to unmold it. Just because I've never done anything like this before. So I've got a tiny little bit of the cream left. Mm, tiny, tiny little bit of that. So that was that was good. So 400 grams. Now let me just clean my hands. Um, I'm just going to wipe off my my mixing stick because I want to clean my hands, um, and then I can torch. So I'm just going to get rid of all of this mess. Just bear with me. Get rid of it all, and then I can clean my hands. And then I can pick up my torch. Safety first, hey? Safety first. Oh, look at that. See, I didn't put white in it this time. Normally when I do this, these kind of ring pours, I put white in them. But I thought, no, I want to keep it more natural. That's why I went with the cream. Just, and I was wondering what the cream would do. I was kind of thinking, you know, it's almost white. So maybe it would work in the same way that the white does. You know, the opaque, the white. Because you get some really pretty effects with the white. So I'm hoping that we will get some really pretty effects on the other side. And burn the resin, Julie. Okay. Let me get my gloves off. It looks as if we're going to have... I can see the coppery colour in the centre there. So it looks as if we're going to have like a... Maybe a coppery centre. Let me just... I'm going to get you down and have a little close up see what you think so those are the I'll show you again the little colors that I used white sand the res the res burnt toffee the res cocoa and this little piggy caramel drizzle. All right, let's come around and have a little look, see what's going on. Now, you know that resin pulls from the outside in, so you tend to get these unusual patterns. And because it's not a totally round on the inside, you now we're going to get some really you know, unique and unusual and hopefully beautiful little patterns happening. But look in the center. See the, the shimmer there? I think that's going to be our little metallic -y, coppery caramel in the center there. I don't know what that is. What's that? Did I drip something? I don't know. Just as what's on the bottom. <laughs> so it's the other side that we're going to be interested in seeing. And you can see all these little patterns and things that it's happening already so that's going to change it'll keep moving over the next half hour or so um, but yeah I'm really keen to see what it's going to look like I'm just hoping it's not going to be too light on the back like I didn't use all that um, creamy color that I made up so hopefully it's not going to be too too pale but yeah like I said I've got a little idea of what to do on the other side so I will see you very soon when it's time to unmold these Oh yeah, but so excited. Look how pretty they are. I'm looking forward to doing them in like um, greens with maybe a splash of teal or and some gold maybe. I think that would look really pretty. Green tree. <laughs> All right, see you soon guys. I'm back. It's uh, 6.30 in the evening. So they've been sitting here for about, what, six and a half hours. Um, still a little bit bendy, but a oh, tiny little bit. But I want to get them out because I want to put um, the top coat on before I go to bed tonight so that um, I can put my video up in the morning. Um, I'm really hoping that the back looks nice <laughs> and it's not too pale. But anyway, here we go. Let's hope it comes out. Oh, look, it comes out really easily. Nice. All right. I love that noise it makes. <laughs> Slurping noises. All right, I'm going to pull that off and then we'll reveal. 
nice and clean. <clears throat> All right, I'm very excited. I'm a bit nervous. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. That looks like real wood. I've got a little bit of transparency in the center, which is really pretty. Got a bit of extra white across there. I guess it's okay having that extra bit of white. See, I was worried that it was going to be too light, but I, I like how you can see all these little bits of darkness in here. Wow, love it. All right, let's look at the next one. I guess that'll all be very similar. Lay you flat. Love this little bit here that sticks in. <laughs> it's so realistic. All right, let's, um, let's do it this way, this one, hey? And watch it peel off. Oh, look at that. That one's got more white on it. I don't know if I like it or not with the white. I guess it's a bit different, isn't it? If I didn't have any of the white, it would be really quite, quite plain. It's amazing how that, well, not white, you know, the cream. It's amazing how it takes over. I think it's just added a little bit of interest to it, hasn't it? Maybe little bit, little bits of the lighter colour next time <laughs> to spread it through. That's really pretty. I'm happy with it. I was just worried that the whole thing was going to be white. Now that I've seen the, that side, I don't know that I want to do what I wanted to do <laughs> with it. Because I was worried it's going to be so pale. Anyway, here we go. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, very nice. These are so pretty. I like how it's just got a little bit of white. It matches that one nicely. This one's got more. I love the texture of them. Wow. I'm just impressed. <gasps> like it I don't think I want to do what I was planning on doing now I'll tell you what I was going to do but I don't think I will now well, they're so tactile I just want to touch them you can see how the sides have come in kind of wispiness there not a lot that's great comes out so easily I was worried because it had all these tiny little lines and grooves I thought oh it might get stuck but it didn't all right let's have a look at this last one oh that matches this one more wow, okay so we've got those two that match and then these two that match that's nice isn't it oh, I'm glad they're all very similar I was so worried I was gonna have this big blob of white or yeah cream what do you think of it guys do you like that bit of white in there and then you can see that lighter brown there the um the darker i think it was oh this one it might be this one the burnt toffee that's quite dominant in there i didn't think it would be but it's quite dominant in there love it i really do maybe a little bit more of this Okay, so what I was going to do, and I don't think I will now that looking at them, um, I was going to grab some of my black acrylic paint and um, dab a bit on a cloth and then rub it like this to fill in the grooves. Um, and then you sort of wipe the excess off. But um, I don't think I will. I, I really don't think I will. Because then you know the little the black gets caught in the grooves, but because it's it's textured so much, it's not it's not smooth and shiny. After looking at it now, I don't think I'd be able to you know wipe the excess off. So, mmm. Now how am I going to go putting a top coat on that? Do you think I need a top coat? I was planning on doing a top coat. I just, again, I'm just not sure. I guess I could try it. You'd lose that tactile finish to it, though. Look, maybe I'll just, maybe for my first one, I'll just leave it like this. Um, and you guys can tell me what you think, if you think it needs a top coat so that it's glossy on, on both sides, 
or do you like this natural kind of look and feel to it? The only issue I have with putting a top coat on this is do the little grooves. The resin, the resin would just, you know, run down there. And then, I mean, you could tape the back, I guess. But, um, you know, if you want to bring the resin up to the top here, like over the top, and you put it up that high, it's, it's going to run through here, through the little grooves. So I don't know how that would work. Have any of you guys used these? Have you done that? Anyway, let's put the video up and um, maybe down the track I'll do another one. Well, definitely we'll do another one, but down the track I'll see what it looks like with a top coat. Because I'm just not sure that it would stay on. It would just drip down the little grooves, wouldn't it? Yeah, I didn't think about that, did I? But oh, look, I love those. So natural looking. Looking forward to trying them with some different colours. So, um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching. And um, like I said, if you want a set of these, uh, they're in my eBay store. Um, a lot of fun. <laughs> Can't wait to do them in another colour. All right. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you real soon for the next video. Okay. Bye for now.